Hey everybody. All right, so Jason here again with the 2008 uh, Titan with the Calmini lift. All right, so the Calmini lift is pretty much all done, pretty much installed. Not sure about these uh, sway bar relocation brackets. Steve finally got back to me after almost two weeks and told me that these brackets are positioned wrong. So this one has to be flipped and go on that side and that one has to come on this side. I thought this angle fit better over here, but hey, what do you know? So anyway, I gotta take these off, relocate them and um, try to see if my sway bar fits. But before I do that, I ran into another issue. So after everything was installed and everything is five inches, this is five inches lower, this is five inches taller, these, um, these are five inches lower, relocates everything. Everything's five inches. The back works out great. Uh, the rear end of the truck works out great. But the problem is I am a full inch taller in the front now than I, was in, than I am in the rear. And when the truck before the lift, I had a full inch in the back and or a full inch and a half in the rear taller than I was in the front. So um, either something screwy with this spacer or I checked to see if these Bilstein shocks were, I took them all apart and I wanted to make sure that they were on the bottom level, like the, the zero lift level, because you can go up to almost two inches with these, but they are, they're seated low. But one thing I did notice is these factory springs, I read somewhere online that uh, they're supposed to be 14 and a half inches tall and these are 15 inches. So if I, I think they might be off of a, diesel truck i think whoever installed these springs before me had put on a heavier set to get more lift and they had a two inch spacer up top in here so um so i don't know what i decided to do instead of buying new springs i took them out and i cut them so i did some research online and one inch on the spring one inch on the spring in height is two inches on the body so i only wanted to come down an inch and a half so I cut the spring three quarters of an inch so let me see if I can show you so the side that I just showed you is already done this spring I just finished cutting so this is about how much um, this is about how much I took off about this much of a coil so you start at the top of the spring not the flat side that mounts to the top of the vehicle the, the coiled side that mounts on the bottom of the shock because there's a recess right in here and um, so you measure the total height of the spring and then you walk your tape around the spring until you get to the desired height so I want to drop my truck I want my truck to be one inch and a half lower in the front than it is in the back so I took off three quarters of an inch of height on the spring that should give me an inch and a half drop on the body because it's double. So one inch on the spring is two inches on the body. So three quarters of an inch on the spring should give me an inch and a half on the body. We shall see how that works. Either way, I figured I'm losing nothing. I didn't want to spend a couple hundred bucks on some springs up here in Canada to get them shipped or whatnot. So I figure I'm gonna cut them and see what happens there. So you cut these with just a regular cutting wheel. Do not use a torch. Um, I use uh, this type of spring compressor, it's a Moog spring compressor, works great. You just connect it to your top plate, compresses the spring, super easy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see how that works. The other side's all assembled already, working on the passenger side. Got to put that together, got to change out these uh, upper control arms. And uh, once that's all together, I'll drop it and we'll see if the height uh, has improved. I just found that sitting level on the ground after the lift was installed these cv axles were way too pitched and i didn't like that um, that's the reason why i wanted a proper suspension lift to begin with so yeah but with the extra inch or inch and a half a lift in the front something was off so hopefully this corrects everything and we'll see how that works so yeah um i'll be back once the truck settles after a couple of days on the springs and I'll see what my final height is. So time to put these shocks back together.